That's a sound from a horror movie, man. I do not like screeching rats. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna try to catch rats in the barn with the much larger version of the tip and slip. Now about a month ago, I posted a video on the mouse size version. It fits on a five gallon bucket and the mouse walks out there and slides down. But after seeing how well the mouse version worked, viewers wanted to know if the inventor could make a larger rat size version. And that's what we have here. It's a prototype, but instead of fitting on a bucket, this fits on a barrel. Now rats are much smarter than mice, so we'll have to see. One trick we have is the inventor also came up with a new bait. This is a peanut butter enhancer called the bait -OK, and supposedly rats can't resist it. So here's what the rat trap looks like when it's mounted on a barrel. It tips down and then resets. The rat's gonna try to get the bait out here. It will walk and when it goes past the bounce point, it falls down. So what I'm gonna try here is I'm not gonna set it right away. I'm gonna lock down the tipping mechanism and turn this into a rat feeding station. They'll get very comfortable. It won't tip down. Then one night we'll unlock the tip and slip and start to catch them. Well, last night was the first night I tested out our rat size tip and slip, and I am really impressed with the results. They couldn't resist the bait. They walked out there and dropped down. One time it got stuck, but then another rat reset it, and it worked well. So you do have to work with this counterbalance and get it just at the right balance point where it always flips up. But down below, we have a barrel full of rats. Now what we caught are two larger rats. Those are a native species called a dusky-footed wood rat. They're over there. And down below here, we have four non-native invasive brown rats, also known as Norway rats. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deal with these. The dusky-footed wood rats are native species, so I'm gonna take them out in the wild and let them go. Then we're gonna dispose of the non-native invasive brown rats. I'm gonna grab the gloves and show you some dusky-footed wood rats. Now I'm gonna try to do this without getting bit. That's a sound from a horror movie, man. I do not like screeching rats. Uh, they're jumping at me, but I'll get one. This is kind of tricky with my arm down there. Just a second. We got one of them. Well, you can see why they call it a dusky footed wood rat. The front paws are white, and this has a much more bushy tail than the non-native brown rats. And this thing is crawling with fleas. I can see them going all over the place. They have a white belly, a brown top, long whiskers, and big ears. Now I'm gonna let this guy go out in the wild, and we'll get the other one. 
Here's our other pack rat. It's smaller and it's not very happy. I really like pack rats except when they get in buildings and cause damage, but out in the wild they're really cool animals. So let's let this guy go as well. Well overall I'm very impressed with how well the larger rat version of the tip and slip worked. The smaller version works well on mice with a 5 gallon bucket and the rat version mounted to a 55 gallon barrel is a rat catching machine. Now this is just a prototype, the inventor is still working on the final product. I'll put a link to his website down below if you have any questions. The reason I think we caught so many rats is, first of all, we clipped the back so it didn't tip and we spent several days turning this into a feeding station. The rats became very comfortable. Then we pulled the switcheroo and one night we caught six rats. Two native pack rats and four non-native invasive brown rats. Now I'm going to end this video by saying thank you. On this channel I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Now I'm going to dispatch these rats and feed them to wild animals, but I'm going to post that in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.